Hi there, my name is Mr. Bauer from the History Department. Just want to talk to you a little bit about a course that you may want to consider taking grade 11. Uh, it is grade 11 world history up to the 15th century, course code CHW3M. Um, just a little bit about the course. Obviously, it is a, it's an M course, so it's university college. So if you're looking to fill um, any of those requirements uh, for your diploma, this may be a course you might be interested in. Uh, the prerequisites for the course, um, any level of grade 10 history um, for uh, from the grade 10 curriculum. The other prerequisite for you is you need to have an interest in the world before the modern era. When I was a student in high school in grade 10, um, Canadian history wasn't really my thing, but when I got to ancient history in grade 11, um, it was a course that really resonated and really spoke to me. Um, and so it may be the course that might spark your interest in, in history, looking at more of an ancient uh, world. Um, just to give you a little overview of the units, to give you some sense of the things that we will be covering, uh, we will be starting out at the very beginning of human history um, with our uh, ancestors and the very earliest man. Uh, we'll be looking at early societies as they came together. Um, and stopped living in caves and started to live together in villages and towns. And then we start to look at rising civilizations. Um, we start in the very earliest in, in the Middle East and around the Tigris and the Euphrates and Mesopotamia um, and Egypt. Some of these incredible uh, civilizations that existed long before um, we, we, well, at least created things uh, that, we can't imagine long before we ever thought they would. Um, did you know that Cleopatra is closer in time to the iPhone than she is to the pyramids? That's how long Egypt stayed as a civilization um, and sustained them, themselves for that long. Um, she is closer to our era than she is to uh, her very own uh, history. Um, then we start to look at flourishing society, societies and civilizations. We look at those who rose to the pinnacle of um, excellence and, and left us with legacies that uh, carried on uh, even to this today day and, and why they lasted so long. And then we're going to take a look at civilizations in decline. Um, this part of the course is looking at those civilizations. Why did they not survive? Why did not they not flourish? Why did they not become uh, the next great civilization? And we'll look at some of the factors that influence that um, in, in their histories. And then the last thing we're going to look at is the legacy of self civilization. So what um, did those enduring civilizations leave uh, us today to, um, and where, where are the remnants of those civilizations today? Because we are still um, feeling the effects or at least um, still um, moving forward with some of the ideas that were created by these civilizations and democracy is just one of them um, as we look at uh, ancient Greece and, and the very first, uh, the roots of democracy. Um, so they are they did leave a legacy uh, for a lot of us in the future. Just a couple of highlights of the course. Um, you could be involved in the ancient civilizations, Dragon's Den. Uh, you're going to get to showcase a tried and true world changing invention as if you were the creator and you were trying to sell it uh, to the people of your civilization. Um, you get an opportunity to explore in depth parts of the world that you know about or are interested in exploring. Some of you are from um, cultures and civilizations around the world uh, that have left an enduring legacy. And we'll get a chance to kind of look a little bit more deeply uh, as much as we can into uh, the past of, of civilizations around the world. Um, a chance to explore civilizations that for many reasons were not able to survive, which um, is an interesting um, look as well, um, and why some survived and some didn't. And the last thing is a chance to, at the end to introduce the class to the next great civilization in our summative project. Um, you will get a chance to um, 
put yourselves in the shoes of that civilization and try to sell it uh, as the next great civilization in history. So if you're interested in ancient history and you're interested in exploring parts of the world that um, you may not have had a chance to do in, in previous courses, this is your opportunity. So hopefully we'll see you next year.